The Antarctic ice shelves are inhospitable to most life forms. However, there is a diversity of organisms hiding beneath the ice. Many plant, animal, and microbiological species can be found in the cold, dark depths of the continent. While most of the life that lives beneath the Antarctic ice is still unknown, research activities are continuing to uncover more and more information about it. Antarctica Subterranean River The ice in Antarctica is melting, but scientists are unsure of the cause. Scientists discovered a 285-mile-long river beneath the ice, which could help explain the continent's widespread ice loss. By flying across Antarctica to gather radar data and combine it with water flow models, researchers discovered the peculiar river. The underground river rushes three times as quickly as the Thames in London, according to experts. The East and West Antarctic ice sheets, which together occupy an area the size of France and Germany, are what feed the river. The study showed that the water flow in Antarctica's interior was more active than previously believed. Climate change brought on by humans might make it more vulnerable. According to research co-author Martin Siegert, a natural scientist at Imperial College London in the UK, the area where this study is located holds enough ice to increase the sea level globally by 14 feet. The amount and rate of melting depend on how slick the ice base is. This process could be significantly impacted by the recently discovered river system. The remoteness, aridity, and size of Antarctica make study difficult. Because of this, scientists haven't discovered the subglacial watercourse previously. They also didn't anticipate discovering one. Strong summer temperatures in Greenland caused the ice to melt from the top, letting enormous amounts of water flow into large crevices. But summers in Antarctica are colder, and there is less ice melt. Scientists had believed that there was little water beneath the ice sheets. Instead, ice in Antarctica is melted from the bottom up by friction and the planet's geothermal heat. Researchers discovered that ice evaporates a few millimeters annually. Due to the ice's huge surface area, even a millimeter of meltwater can generate a wide, swift stream. The ice sheets of Antarctica float in the Weddell Sea. The grounding line is particularly vulnerable to warming temperatures. Understanding this vulnerable area will help researchers make better estimates of sea level rise. The difference between satellite data and melting models can be explained by the river's robust freshwater flow. The satellites were accurate. The rate of ice loss was rising. The discovery of the river advances our understanding of the subglacial hydrology of Antarctica. And if global warming persists, experts can predict how the continent's ice sheets will behave. This discovery might fill a gap in the models we now use. We might be underestimating the rate at which the system will melt if we ignore these river systems. We can only quantify and predict how the ice will respond to rising global temperatures and how much this will raise sea levels by comprehending why the ice is melting. Uncovering an ancient ecosystem below the Antarctic glacier. Life has been discovered in Antarctica's glacier-trapped ecosystem. Sulfur and iron are thought to be the sources of energy for microorganisms in oxygen-free oceans. According to the research, life might have endured snowball Earth as well as other hostile settings like Mars and Jupiter's icy moon Europa. Geothermal vents, permafrost, and cold dark seas have all been found to have microbial life. Since the late 1960s and early 1970s, when the dark enigmatic subglacial lakes of Antarctica were discovered, scientists have wondered if microorganisms might survive there. Previous attempts to find out have been hindered by drilling through miles of ice and concerns about contaminating these precious lakes. An alternative is Blood Falls, a small saltwater outflow from the subglacial lake in Antarctica's dry valleys called Taylor Glacier. The lake's iron-rich waters rust as the glacier nears its end, turning the ice orange. Between 1.5 and 2 million years ago, Taylor Glacier engulfed the subglacial lake that formed the marine fjord system. Researchers can study the lake thanks to its erratic discharge without drilling or contaminating the remote area. Jill McCookie, a geomicrobiologist at Dartmouth College, sampled Blood Falls water over a six-year period. 
Testing revealed that the waters contained at least 17 different types of bacteria and almost no oxygen. How could they remain alive for so long without air or light? Three crucial indicators were uncovered by McCuckey's group. The genetic analysis initially revealed a connection between the germs and sulfate-respiring microorganisms. Second, isotopic analysis of the oxygen molecules in sulfate revealed that bacteria were modifying them but not respiring with them. Lastly, soluble ferrous iron was added to the water, which was only possible if the organisms converted insoluble ferric acid into soluble ferrous iron. The organisms use sulfate as a catalyst to breathe with ferric iron and digest the few organic materials trapped with them years ago, the study concludes, and this is the most plausible explanation. This is a fantastic new environment that we may investigate to learn more about life on the edge. This location would likely be the closest match to the sub-permafrost life habitats on Mars that we can find on Earth. The sun's ultraviolet rays and other dangers would probably extinguish life on Mars. To better understand how a changing Antarctica can affect our planet, scientists seek to acquire more information about these systems and modify their models for use in other places. The hidden life of the world's largest ice shelf is found. Scientists have identified a novel ecosystem in a subterranean river that flows beneath Antarctica's ice. The research team excavated through the ice and then lowered a video recording device into the cave below. The crew reported that as the recording device entered the river, swarms of krill-like creatures surrounded it. An endeavor to chronicle and piece together how climate change is melting the ice shelf and influencing related ecosystems led to the discovery of the subsurface habitat the largest body of floating ice in the world, the Ross Ice Shelf, is situated on the southernmost tip of Antarctica. Based on earlier satellite images that showed a groove in the ice shelf close to where it touched the ground, the scientists concluded there was an under-ice estuary. Scientists have thought for a long time that there is a network of lakes and rivers with fresh water flowing beneath the Antarctic ice sheets, but they haven't really looked into it. Scientists went to the spot in Antarctica and used a high-tech hot water drill method created by the Victoria University of Wellington to melt the ice and drill 1,640 feet below the surface of the ice to find a river underground. As soon as they arrived at the hidden tunnel, the team sent the camera down. When the camera quickly focused, they saw that the hazy particles they had first thought were debris were actually moving, living crustaceans. In normal conditions, seeing one of these creatures would make the experts squeal with excitement, as there must be a significant ecosystem process taking place if all these species are swimming around the camera. Nutrients would be looked for in water samples, and more research would be done on this topic. The scientists not only found the amphipods, but they also found that the water column was split into four to five distinct strata that flowed in different directions. Water is often found in different layers that don't mix well because the temperature and salt content change. When the ice shelves in Antarctica move, water often goes in and out of the ocean under them. The claims say that certain warm water columns have the ability to destroy ice shelves. In the South Pacific, the Hunga Tonga Hunga Ha'apai volcano erupted from the end of December 2021 to the middle of January 2022, which caused a tsunami. During this time, the study team was watching the underwater river. As a result of this event, they noticed that the pressure in the cavity changed. It was incredible to watch the ripple effects of the Tongan volcano from hundreds of kilometers away. It reminds us of how intertwined the entire world is. Antarctic researchers discover previously unknown life. The typical image of Antarctica is that of a frozen wilderness, yet, a team of scientists recently discovered a ton of extremophile life beneath the frozen continent, demonstrating their adaptability. In water that was 28 degrees and completely dark, life was found 650 feet below the extra ice shelf. In severely submerged settings, moss organisms known as bryozoans and worms of 77 different species have been found. This has significantly increased the number of species from this least known environment that are known. The unusual habitat of this cache is unique to Antarctica. This could show how glaciations were endured by polar marine life. 
Access is challenging under hundreds of feet of solid ice. To see what was behind the ice, the researchers dug with a hot water drill. Cameras were then dropped into the borehole. They radiocarbon dated bryozoans and bivalves to establish the age of life. These seafloor mammals' remains that were carbon dated range in age from the present to 5,800 years ago. An oasis of life may have persisted continuously for roughly 6,000 years under the ice shelf, despite being two to six miles from the closest open water. Living under such harsh conditions is impressive. Despite centuries of darkness, life exists in Antarctic ice. Certain microorganisms are supported by the sediment of the continent's crushed bedrock. Finding sponges half a mile beneath the Antarctic ice sheet, according to one biologist, was like finding a patch of the rainforest in the middle of the Sahara. The recent discovery broadens the range of conditions necessary for life. The unusual and sizable ecosystem may teach us a lot. Despite warming surface polar oceans, some polar creatures can flourish in deeper, food-poor regions. The environment is changing with the globe, even if it's inaccessible. These deep, dark habitats may be exposed to the ocean or altered when the globe warms and the Antarctic ice shelves break off. Even if those modifications improve some locations for sun-loving photosynthesizing species, the distinctive ecosystem found beneath the extra ice shelf may vanish. Concerns have been raised about the potential loss of some Antarctic species because only 10 square feet of the ecosystem's 620,000 square miles have been observed. One of the least recognized, undisturbed, and distinctive habitats on Earth may be lost before we even notice it, which would be a big tragedy. Antarctica is home to some of the most intriguing and historic ecosystems on the planet. These ecosystems, which were uncovered from beneath the ice, have adapted to the challenging conditions of the continent, and some of them are still thriving now. The ecosystems of Antarctica are fascinating and significant for the rest of the globe. From the uncommon species of krill to the enigmatic fresh water beneath ice rivers, as the climate continues to warm, studying and comprehending these ecosystems is more important than ever because of their extraordinary fragility and potential destruction if not properly conserved.